let's say that you have this great idea for an app. I mean, I have this friend who's always asking me for app ideas, but you know what you don't have? Time to build all the infrastructure from scratch. I mean, seriously, who has time for that? Folks, you know we're on the clock here, right? <laughs> right, that's a good one. Well, the good news is that you don't have to start from scratch anymore when you build your app on Firebase. Firebase is a Google-backed platform that provides developers with tools to build, deploy, and scale mobile and web apps. And we just launched a ton of updates to Firebase at Google I.O. Like, seriously, it was a lot. I know, David. I was just counting them here, and I had to continue from my fingers onto my toes. So much so that we don't have time to cover all the updates in this video, but instead we'll cover just some of our top takeaways from Firebase at Google I.O. If you build web apps, Firebase hosting and cloud functions make it easy to build static and dynamic websites and host them on a global distributed CDN. Now, what updates did we make there, David? Well, the second generation of cloud functions is now generally available and has early support for Python. So you can write and run server code in response to Firebase events all in Python. Want to take action when a document is created? Run some server code. Did a user just create an account? Run some server code. All existing Firebase triggers are now available for Python. And you can also have better control over the concurrency of your code. So for example, you can handle up to 1,000 requests at a time in a single function instance, which can greatly reduce cold start. What about if I want to add some artificial intelligence magic to my app? Ooh, well, Firebase extensions are configurable pieces of functionality that you can add to your app and then configure to your needs. And we launched 20 new extensions at I.O., including some new extensions that let you tap into the power of Google's machine learning solutions. One of those is the Chatbot with Palm API extension, which lets you call Google's latest generative language APIs by simply writing to a Firestore document and then listening for updates to that document. And we've opened up the ability to build extensions to everyone so that you can let millions of Firebase developers connect to your service easily. Hmm, but what can you do if you ship your app with Firebase but your users encounter bugs or performance issues? Well, there is no faster way to fix your problems than right in your IDE. And if you build native Android apps, you're likely using Android Studio. The App Quality Insight panel in Android Studio shows issues from Crashlytics right in your own code. So you can act immediately and not just on crashes that you can reproduce, but also on stack traces that were sent by real users of your app. Wow, but you know, David, all this talk of crashes is making me a bit nervous here. Shipping features to production is already such a risk. My hands are often shaking by the time I'm finally ready to hit the publish button. Is there something you can do about this? You bet. Remote config allows you to separate the moment you publish your code from the moment that you enable the feature. And Remote Config now has real-time updates that make changes so much faster. You first publish your app with the code for the new feature in it, but the feature is disabled behind a so-called feature flag. Then you go to the Firebase console and slowly roll out the feature to an increasing number of users. And if you see any crash reports, let's say in Crashlytics, you only need to click a button in the Firebase console to roll back the feature and bring back the app to a stable state for all users. So real-time changes in remote config allow you to get your app to production faster and safer. Wow, that does sound magical, David. And look, my hands stop shaking. Those were so many great updates. And I said, these are just the highlights. For more about all these updates, visit firebase.blog. And cut. That's a wrap, folks. Head over to the Firebase YouTube channel to watch all our updates from Google I.O. Bye. Bye.